Hello there everybody, Embrix here with another LEGO discussion. Uh, we're not in the studio though I have the light so it should let in some. Here's the discussion. Why does LEGO use weird colors? Here's what I'm talking about. So Hulkbuster looks good and actually not a lot of weird colors. They did a very good job on this. So yeah, I'm definitely happy with that. Though aren't there, there are just some things that LEGO does that have weird colors. The X-Wing UCS, which I reviewed. If you just lift this up, you got some blue in there. You got some green. You got some red. Well, the red kind of makes sense, but why the green and the blue? Why not just make it in this gray color? Like, uh, maybe here it's not as bothering. And honestly, I don't have that many sets where it is that bothering, but I hope you guys um, are actually into Lego. <laughs> but um, a lot of sets, what they tend to do is they like a lot of technique builds on the bottom of them you can see a lot of weird colors blue red all those weird stuff for the 2019 uh, 20th anniversary star sets the anakin spot racer has a lot of gray and tan technic pins um a batman set has a pink brick in the middle like just little stuff like that that could really um mess with your ocd and yeah we're just moving away for a while from there sorry that i don't really have any good examples actually built up but maybe i have one that i recently built up the tanker truck takedown yeah colors look pretty good but on the inside um i guess the brown is fine but look you even have like an orange brick in there yeah an orange a white some brown and it doesn't annoy me too much it's just like why do they do that and like again here, this is all closed up. You don't see it, and it's completely fine. But I really hope, uh, like, just search up Anakin's Pod Racer 20th Anniversary set or something like that, because I really hope um, you guys know what I'm talking about. Here, I'll give you something to look at. But um, anyway, uh, and that's really what I'm, um, I'm trying to discuss here. So with Anakin's Pod Racer, they use all that gray and those tan Technic pins um for a lot of those giant figs as they call it it looks really weird on the back you know um like cold earth driller if you look at the bottom there are just so many weird colors and it just looks really bad but like maybe you're not always gonna look at it from the bottom but when you do you know it's like oh that's disgusting and it really messes with my ocd so maybe that's a big reason but here's the reason lego does it money yeah, it's way cheaper. Uh, well, not way cheaper. They only save like three cents, I guess. Uh, it's cheaper to print pink than black. That's why you'll find pink bricks in a Batman set. You know, pink is one of the cheapest colors to print. Black is one of the most expensive. Like, they're not that expensive, but relative to the other ones, you know, like three cents range only. But let's think about it. Let's say the Batman set that I keep talking about, uh, Lego makes three, uh, 1,000 of them. That's 3,000 cents. That's $30 every 1,000 sets. If Lego releases, let's say, 100 sets with weird colors, that's, that's like, what is that, 30? That's like $3,000 they save right there. So yeah, and you know they use more than one pink brick in all a lot of the sets and that is why you see weird colors but honestly it does add up to a lot so i completely understand why lego does it and lego it's fine do it on a tanker truck takedown case where you do not see it do it on all the places you don't see it but do it in that batman set because you do not see the pink but don't do it in Atkins pod racer just make it in transparent. You know, all those uh, pins, they look really bad and stuff like that. But yeah, I just think that it does save them a lot of money, but I'm fine with doing it. Just don't do it when it's still visible. Like you always have Technic pins that are bright red and play features that you'd like to be hidden. But yeah, that is it for this video. And I hope you liked it. Please subscribe, leave a comment down below on your thoughts and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.